New information on the arrest of a former Cherry Creek teacher's aide facing murder charges in connection with the overdose death of one person and connected to three others. 50-year-old Almeida Sullivan is in the Arapahoe County Jail facing first-degree murder charges. Call 7 investigator Teresa Marchette has been digging into court documents. Teresa, this case involves more than a dozen victims and witnesses. And what they describe in this arrest affidavit is a virtual house of horrors in Centennial. Almeida Sullivan, the mom who police say was dealing the most dangerous prescription drug available to known addicts, many teens, even allegedly teaching them how to snort them. An accusation made even more disturbing by the revelation I discovered in these documents that Sullivan is a trained respiratory therapist. At one time I thought maybe her daughter had overdosed. With all the the police activity at their house. Kathy Long just lives just yards know, away from what police say was a hub of illegal prescription drug activity from 2007 to 2011. The Centennial townhouse 50 year old Almeida Sullivan rented at the scene of two deadly overdoses. And you said she had shared with you that someone had died in her house. She said you did hear about the the man that died in my basement, and I said, what? That young man was 21-year-old Carter Higdon, found dead in Sullivan's basement of an overdose in October of 2011. Arapahoe County detectives connect Sullivan to three other overdose deaths, one of which also occurred at Sullivan's home. This lengthy investigation reveals disturbing details about what allegedly went on there. According to the affidavit obtained by the Call 7 investigators, Sullivan most commonly sold Opana, a time-release form of oxycodone called oxymorphone, a potent narcotic that is, quote, highly lethal when crushed. Yet witnesses say Sullivan routinely taught users how to do it, to snort the drug, even allegedly hand-feeding addicts already too high to function. Investigators say Sullivan knew what she was doing, trained at Jackson Community College in pharmacology and respiratory care in the 90s. The documents show she obtained multiple prescriptions from various doctors, often fraudulently, more than 20,000 pills in a five-year period. Sullivan worked for Cherry Creek Schools in two roles between 2003 and 2005. She resigned her teacher aid job within two months of her first felony drug arrest. This is her criminal history. It's pages long. None of the four victims named in the affidavit attended West Middle School where she worked. Three of them, though, did attend Cherry Creek High School with Sullivan's daughter. She has six children, and I spoke with her older daughter just a short time ago. She asked that no one judge her mother until both sides are heard. I'm Call 7 Investigator Teresa Marchetta. And if you have a story idea for the Call 7 Investigators, call 303-832-7777, or you can send an email to call7 at thedenverchannel.com.